Welcome Capricorn, this is your December 2023 tarot forecast. It is a general reading, so it's trust yourself not resonates, leave what does not. Now there is a competition running again this month. There's a beautiful necklace up for grabs. It's got a gorgeous uh, stone pendant on it, uh, which is white by the way. So um, quite long that one. Mm. So if you want to go into the draw to win that, all you have to do is subscribe to my channel, pop a comment down below, you want to go into the draw. And uh, there's also a personal reading up for grabs with me. I'll be looking for a very positive community member. And uh, just let me know in the comments down below that you want to be entered into that prize draw and you will be. All right, let's dive in. So pulling you a central energy from the Nature's Whispers Oracle. Now we'll just mention every Friday I'm doing lives at 10 a.m. Perth time, which is uh, your Thursday in the U.S. from 5 p.m. onwards. You can check world time, buddy, when it's happening. It is a transformational coaching session. So... Uh, depending on when you're watching this, the next one's going to be on healing the inner child. If you want to check out the uh, replays, you can find them on the live tab or in the inspirational playlist. We do have a lot of fun in there, so do come and join us if you can. Oh, this is so gorgeous. Wait till you see what you pulled. You pulled hope and happiness. It's going to be a joyful, joyful month, darlings. A lot of gorgeous experiences and connections and just feeling a lot more joyful. also indicate blessings coming your way. Right, let's have a look at your spiritual guidance. I'm not really thinking about it. Oh, you've got Moonstone Star, all about passion, entering a period of euphoric love. Um, number 11 represents brand new beginning. So some of you in a new love, in a new love relationship, love coming towards you. Oh, you've also pulled the Huntress, which is all about Pleiades. Uh, so whenever we pull Pleiades, uh, it does say here a quest to be wild and free. So you can do anything you want. I mean, Pleiades also represents the seven sisters of Pleiades. So your project's being blessed. Your creative ideas. Well, you've also pulled Father of the Sky, God, which is releasing your heavy burdens to the God source, to the universe, releasing them off self. And you've also pulled the Holy Child, so beautiful, right? It's being a star seed, yeah? I'm a divine child of the universe. So some of you connected, I'm going to say, to the star Sirius. We've also got Pleiades here. Um, you may have a connection to ancient Egypt, a lot to the star systems, um, beautiful divine gifts and talents inside of you. Mm -hmm. All right, let's have a look at four key areas of focus for you with the Sacred Destiny Oracle. Oh, there's a need for you to take some quiet time in stillness. So this could just be to center self. There's a lot of indigo blue um, violet colors coming through, which represents the crown chakra, third eye chakra. Your guidance for Capricorn. Oh, you've absolutely got new beginnings happening, but there's a release that needs to happen as well. So you've got to let go of the old to open up to the new. It's connected with releasing the heavy burdens. Oh, yeah. You've got this gorgeous delight card here, which is getting out in nature, appreciating the beauty of the world, feeling more joyful, more happy, and there's something that you need to forgive and release. You've got forgiveness here. All right, let's pull you some clarifiers with the energy oracle. First up, let's have a look at you entering a period of euphoric love and taking some quiet time out for self. Oh, yeah, here we go. you got woman holding heart. Oh, guys, there's a love interest. Girls being open, looking for love, ready for love. Why do I feel that there's a divine pair coming? Mm -hmm. You've got yin and yang, so you need to be in balance, right? Emotional balance, feeling balanced within self. Um, you've got two angelic numbers side by side, 44 and 22. 22, take a leap of faith. You've also got appreciation. So living in the present moment, valuing and appreciating self, having a high sense of self-love and self-worth. Because when we're in that state, we're going to attract a very balanced whole relationship and partner who's balanced. 
All right, let's have a look at Pleiades Lightning one. <laughs> okay. Oh, I've got some envy or lack going on here. We will dive into that. Oh, you got the door to personal healing and happiness opening. So I'm going to say if you've been through states of lack, that situation's changing. Some of you, it's around your physical health and well-being. And you got the journey card. So you may be traveling, planning a trip, going on a holiday. Let's have a look at this envy or lack here. Oh, Spirit's saying you just got to take action, right? So whenever you're feeling in a state of lack, one, you've got to take action to change, do an energy shift around your emotions, your mindset. Uh, anything to do with your finances, when you take action, even if it's small steps, it's going to put you in your personal power. Let's have a look at your release and your heavy burdens and these new beginnings. Oh, yeah. Spirit's saying you're the magician in the mirror. You can do anything you want, Cappies. Anything. You've got to take action, though. <laughs> Oh, yeah, because some of you experiencing financial constraints, worrying about your money, and you've also got the door to, pers you've also got the door to romance opening. So love certainly on the horizon. Let's have a look at these financial constraints. Mm, yeah, it's affecting your emotions and how you're feeling about life. No surprise there. Okay, you've got deceit here. So some of you are deceiving yourselves that you can't change your situation which you've got to look at it in a different way. Mm. You've also got the message to trust your intuition. So if you feel like anyone's being deceptive around your money, trust yourself on that. Watch out for scams. All right, let's have a look at you being a star seed of the universe. Experiencing the delight of life. Some of you have to apply some forgiveness to a situation. Oh, darling, since anxiety. Cappies, what's going on with you? <laughs> There's so much in terms of beautiful energy that wants to happen for you. Okay, you got man holding a coin. Guys, some of you definitely really worrying about your money. Mm -hmm. Well, it's pretty saying you're just going to have patience, right? You're possibly wanting it before it's ready. Why is anxiety here? Okay. This is super interesting. You pulled the world with your intuition again, right? Some of you want to travel. Perhaps you're having anxiety about how you're going to afford to do it, which means you need a solid plan. Some of you are going, starting a brand new life chapter, which is new experiences, possibilities, fresh start in life, it's creating anxiety within self and spirit saying you know what to do, right? Just you don't have to overthink things. Take one day at a time. Oh, things you need to walk away from. Darlings, you've got to walk away from yourself. Mm -hmm. Have a good look in the mirror at what's holding you up in life, darlings. That's what's holding you up in life. That reflection's holding you up in life. You've got to switch your self-talk. Mm -hmm. It's the only thing holding you back. Yep. Yeah, it's directly related to the root chakra. Some of you really worrying about money. It's also affecting your energy levels. So you may be feeling tired and zapped because of the mental... Energy you're expending towards lack. You've got blossoming abundance here. So Spirit's saying things are happening, but possibly not as fast as you want them to. I'm not sure if there's something you need to forgive yourself for versus others. Yeah, everything's trying to get you into your higher states of consciousness because you've got your crown chakra here and your throat chakra. Some of you may need to express an apology to someone. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, if this message is resonating with you, do go and check out the live we did last week on your, in boosting your manifesting powers, right? Because it's going to make you feel a whole lot better. <laughs> so we tackle this whole thing about worrying about money and scarcity consciousness. All right, let's put you some clarifiers from the Goddess Guidance deck. Having a look at the top row, which is all about entering a period of euphoric love. Mm -hmm. Spirit saying you need to be in balance and present for that. Yeah, you've got to take it easy. There's no need to force or rush it, right? And you've got to trust yourself and your wisdom. See the truth in situations. Who's healthy for you? Who's not healthy for you? Watch red flags. Don't ignore red flags, um, particularly if you've done it in the past because you, you are in mostly in a balanced state when it comes to love. Uh, there's just a bit of tweaking going on around your finances you need to do. 
Oh yeah, you just got to stay focused at this time. Take action where you can take action. Let's have a look at Plead His Light in Your Way to be wild and free. Uh, you've got the daughter, personal healing and happiness opening, releasing self from old, holding yourself stuck. So you've got an old opportunity coming in. So there's a new career opportunity coming in. You may not even see it yet. Again, you pulled the magician. So this is out of a different deck. Mm -hmm. You can do anything you want, Capricorn. Anything you want. All right, let's have a look at you releasing the weight of the world from your shoulders. Brand new beginning that wants to happen for you. You've got a star of fertility. Perfect time to kick off new ideas and project ideas you have. Spirit saying, darling, get outside. It's going to really help you. It's going to help you de-stress. Let go of all this that worry and anxiety you're carrying around with you. Oh, yeah. All right, let's have a look at this side where there is a focus on your coin and getting out of your own way. Oh, yeah. Spirit asking for you to just lift, darling, lift. Yeah, you've got to be bold, take risks, get out of your comfort zone. Mm -hmm. And you've got endings and beginnings. The old must be released so then you can enter. You've got to let go of an old version of yourself. And you've also got your inner goddess, God which is your Aphrodite energy, guy or girl. So self-care activities, really boosting yourself up. All right, let's pull you some guidance from the Crystal Healing Deck. Having a look at this top row, which is all about your love situation, mm -hmm. seeing the truth in situations. Oh, some of you are still going through heart healing. So some of you are not ready yet to put yourself out there even though you want love because if you go out there in this place, uh, you're going to attract someone to you who is also not ready. Be mindful of that. That's why forgiveness is there. Yeah, oh, my God, it's come out with emotional healing. Some of you definitely have to do some healing before you step into a new love relationship because you've got to find joy within self. You've got to cultivate and come to a place of inner peace and joy. When you're at that place, you're ready, darlings, right? That's your indication that you're ready. Let's have a look at this golden opportunity coming in. Spirit saying you need to take action. The magician in your own life. Oh, you've definitely got inner conflict going on. So you're holding yourself stuck. Yeah, you've got to face your shadow side, right? That's the only thing playing out here is your shadow side. You pull take action, what, one, two, three times here? Um, it's related to your new beginnings and your ideas, your projects, and opening up the door to love when you're ready. And fertility again in this row. Some of you have an amazing idea that you want to kick off and you're holding yourself back from doing it. Yep. All right, let's have a look at this new you over here that wants to happen. <laughs> yes. Yes. Uh, oh, there's a big focus on your life purpose right now. Some of you have a big decision to make about your life purpose. So you're saying be flexible and patient. You're just champing it a bit too much. Yep. <laughs> Or well, if you've got animals, they may need extra support and attention at this time. You may have animal spirit guides crossing your path. Some of you, it'll be a blue jay, splendor blue wren. Mm -hmm. You see a splendor blue wren, spirit's trying to get your attention because whatever you're thinking of in that moment, they're trying to distract you by the bright blue-coloured um, feathers of that bird, right? Um, mm -hmm. and they're trying to distract you from what you're embroiling yourself in here and asking you to raise and lift yourself. Um, you've also got purification here. I'm going to say... There's a cleanse that needs to happen with the emotional waters, darling, and <laughs> the mental thought processes, yes. <laughs> On the bottom of the deck, you've got grounding your energy to Mother Earth. All right, let's pull you some guidance from the Messenger Oracle. You've got the lion, which is all about courage and strength. Now, it's directly related to you being focused on what it is you want, doing the healing work you need to do moving yourself forward and know that you belong. You don't have to change who you are to fit in, to be loved, accepted. Just be the real you. Warts and all, darlings. Oh, my God, because you've also pulled out love that you are different. Some of you are not moving forward because you're worrying about what other people will think, right? You've got to get to a place where you don't give a toss what other people think about your choices or your life path. Mm. You've got to embrace the masculine energy. You've got to get into your action-orientated energy, right? And follow the moon. The lunar cycles may significantly affect you at this time. 
I've got to say, darling, the last full moon just hit me like a ton of bricks. Yep. It really happens, but it did emotionally just went. Big release happened. Mm -hmm. All right, let's have a look at this chakra balance. I mean, darling, your chakras are all out of whack, particularly the root chakra in your emotional waters. Ah, oh, here it is. The emotional body needs a complete purification and cleanse. Yep. <laughs> oh, spirit saying journaling will help you do that, right? So that's super important. So it's going to help you journal out your feelings and why you're feeling like you're feeling, why you're feeling stuck, right? It's going to help you get clarity to move forward. Do your journaling. And you've also got family here. So there could be a focus on family at the moment. I've got to say to you what's instantly channeling through is that if family are a source of pain for you and a source of conflict because it's festive season, uh, perhaps you're going to have to come up with some strategies on how to navigate through that so that you're not so affected by their energies. Mm -hmm. You may have a lot going on connecting with family in the positive and the negative. Uh -huh. All right, let's have a look at who you connect to in the spirit realm, divine gifts and talents. Oh, you're connected to the star Sirius. This is what I said at the beginning. This is why the star seed child's here. Mm -hmm. You're a star seed of the universe. Oh, you've got naturopathy here. So gifted in naturopathy, some of you thinking of studying naturopathy. Oh, you're also connected to Pleiades. So you've pulled Sirius and Pleiades out twice. Mm -hmm. Boom, boom. Wow. Okay, let me just channel some messages through for you. For those of you that feel like you are a star seed, basically at the heart of that you have a very extensive past life history um, in the spiritual realm and on earth. Mm -hmm. Some of you have not yet tapped into the extent of that nor have you tapped into your full potential. It is there. The star Sirius means that you have the capacity to be an ascended master if you want to go that way and if you want to practice and hone your skills. Pleiades is hand in hand with the star Sirius here to help you pursue your ideas, your projects, your creative ideas, right? For some of you within that heart of yours, you have a desire to help humanity in some way. That is going to make you stand apart from the crowd and people are not going to understand what you're doing. They never will. They never will until it happens, right? And then they're going to turn around and go, how did you make that happen? West, previously up until that point, they're probably naysaying you and questioning your judgment and everything else, that, that whole bag of worms that goes on, right? Which means you need to stay strong and just deflect that energy off and see it for what it is, which is fear based thoughts in others because they'll never get out of their comfort zone to do what you are capable of, right? You are so capable of it. Trust yourself. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. All right, let's have a look at your life path guidance. Now, oh, here it is. I knew it was going to come out. Instantly knew it was going to come out. You got your communication skills are one of your best assets. You can influence people by the power of your voice, your word, your messages that you want to share with the world, your written words, spoken words. Some of you have a passion for helping and protecting animals, even if it's something that you do in your time off, which means you also probably got a passion for protecting Mother Earth. And you're highly creative, so trust in your creative ideas. All right, let's pull you a crowning energy. Deep reading, Cappies, deep reading. Uh, we're going to be using the Divine Circus Oracle Gorgeous Deck by Lana Fairchild. Oh. There's a few star signs that have pulled this, right? This is such an important message, and you pulled it as well. You've got a date with destiny going on. December is such an important month for star signs this month, aligning with your purpose in life. Let me bring it close. So gorgeous. Oh, yeah. Do not go anywhere, darlings. This will be the most important message you will hear this year. So do not go anywhere. Hang around. Uh -huh. It's come out for you for a very specific reason. Are you ready? It says, out of the ethers and into your life, she arrives now because you have a date with destiny. She is a mysterious creature and her ways are wild and her guidance is true. She may create chaos from which a new order will arrive, but there is no need to fear. 
She has come to inspire, uplift and direct you. And a date with destiny is a big deal. It is the moment you realise there is something helping you, something intelligent, powerful, wise and no matter how empowered you are, something even more powerful than your own efforts. And the oracle of the date with destiny means that all bets are off. Nothing is sacred and anything can happen. And if you're a control freak, this will probably scare you witless. So you need to know something important. You can trust in divine interventions on your behalf, even if her work seems to be causing your best intentions to go astray. Trust or go mad because you cannot control her and you do not need to. Your divine destiny is your best life. It is you in the fullest, most beautiful creative expression possible. It is what you want and need even when you don't immediately realize it, even when it's rather different to what you once thought you wanted or needed. And hers is the guiding hand closing the wrong door, sometimes slamming them abruptly in your face. I hate that when it happens. <laughs> Nurse your ego when that happens, but let your soul shout with glee because you'll know it's the calling card of destiny. And she'll open the right doors for you. She isn't despite most people's fears are saddest, but she will dance through your life in her big stomping combat boots, even if it means causing some pain now to avoid further pain later on. The appearance of chaos and mayhem is just a sign that she's at work on a divine realignment. Her every move, even those incomprehensible, to the mind is deliberate and divine. And when this oracle appears, you're on a date with destiny. The universe has heard the prayers in your heart and life is going to answer them by rearranging what needs to be rearranged to sort out whatever has been troubling you. And make sure you let it happen. You're not meant to feel in control. Destiny is an exciting, unpredictable phenomenon. And you're probably going to feel a sense of instability and a feeling that things are going to change and you are right. And if you allow destiny to take your hand, she'll guide you into the places you really want and need to be. And if you cannot trust her, she'll push and prod and get you there anyway, but you just won't enjoy the journey as much. And the more you allow yourself to trust in her, the more you will realize that the divine is working with you rather than against you. And if you're willing, it will show you the time of your life. Oh, how amazing. Now, there's a brief affirmation here. It says, my date with destiny is full of the most fun, joy, passion, purpose, and play I can have whilst being me. Oh, amazing, amazing, amazing. All right, darlings, those are your messages. Love to hear your feedback, your comments down below and how it resonated with you. Do reach out for a personal reading if you need extra guidance and support at this time. I'll put my booking link on here and down below. Uh, do go and check out your star sign coffee mugs as well. There's journals, task planners, all designed by Mark. Make great Christmas gifts if you want to spoil yourself or someone else. All the designs are in my Elysium Gallery website. You can also find some of them linked to this video. All right, take it easy and for now, much love, much light. Namaste. Mm -hmm.